Buildings don't last forever, but they leave a lasting impression on those that see them. The Colosseums of Rome, the Pyramids of Giza, the Great Wall of China, the Great Temples of the Aztecs, and the Great Terraces of the Incas. All are monuments to the greatness of these past civilizations. But what about today, in this modern global civilization? What are the great monuments of our civilization? Well, probably every megaproject that pushes the bounds of what is possible. And the recently announced LINE, Saudi Arabia's trillion-dollar megastructure, is no different. Saudi Arabia has begun construction on probably the most ambitious megaproject in mankind's history to date. This megaproject, called the Mirror Line, was created by the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia, Muhammad bin Salman, to leave a lasting mark in the history of the world's greatest monuments. It is going to be a double parallel, 500 meter tall, 170 kilometer long megastructure. To put this into perspective, imagine building two Empire State Buildings side by side a thousand times. So why does Saudi Arabia want to build this structure? What are the constraints to making this possible? And are they only building this to attract investors and media attention? For the past few years, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia has drawn up transformational plans for the future like no other. This transformation plan has been dubbed Vision 2030, a plan that hopes to reduce the country's dependence on fossil fuels and shift its economy towards technology, tourism, and various other sectors. Since its announcement in 2016, the kingdom has poured investments heavily into a master plan called NEOM, which means New Future. It is the kingdom's move to actualize a marquee plan, Vision 2030. What is NEOM? NEOM is to be a massive, futuristic smart city in Tabuk province in northwestern Saudi Arabia. The site is north of the Red Sea and has a total area of 26,500 square kilometers. The city will consist of three mega projects. The first mega project is a floating eight-side massive industrial complex called the Oxagon. The Oxagon was designed with the intent to serve as a port for shipping routes through the Red Sea. The next mega project is called Trojana, which will serve as a major skiing destination in the Arabian Peninsula. This outdoor skiing resort is meant to host entertainment and events throughout the year. But none of these projects are as massive or wildly ambitious as the project called the Mirror Line, simply called the Line. The Mirror Line was first announced in January 2021 as part of Mohammed bin Salman's Vision 2030. The details and plans for this aptly named line are so over the top that it's an understatement to call it bonkers. The line is a mega project that is made up of two 500 meter tall buildings parallel to one another, 200 meters of space in between, running through 170 kilometers of desert terrain. This line will have a mirror glass exterior. This city is expected to contain 9 million residents, all living and working within the confines of the structure. The line will stretch forth from the coast of the Gulf of Aqaba to the countryside of the kingdom. These two parallel structures will be connected by a walkway with vertically built infrastructure between them. This interior will contain offices, public parks, and homes stacked atop one another. An ultra-high-speed transport system is planned to connect one end of the city to the other end in just 20 minutes. Simply put, the line's designers seem to want the regular infrastructure of a city and stack it vertically on top of one another. The planners claim that their city will be 100% sustainable, run on renewable energy with zero carbon emissions, and feature the most modern technologies. Those living inside will be fed through vertical farms integrated into the environment. The structure is also planned to include a marina for yachts and a sports stadium built at 300 meters above the ground. The line is structured to have three different layers, the pedestrian layer, the service layer, and the spine layer. At the ground level is the pedestrian zone. The pedestrian zone is going to be designed in such a way that no cars or roads will be there. 
it will mainly consist of trees, vertical farms, and public parks. It is built this way to encourage working so that its residents can maintain a healthy lifestyle. The second layer just beneath the pedestrian layer is called the service layer. The service layer houses all the shops, offices, and other commercial spaces. It will also contain residential buildings, which are just a five-minute walk from the commercial hubs. The third layer functions as a spine layer. This is the layer that handles everything concerning the transportation of people and goods. This layer is reliant on an ultra-high-speed transit system that connects the different parts of the line from one end to another. The designers of the city also claim that this transport system is going to be AI-enabled. The premise behind the entire design of the line is that most modern cities were born out of the Industrial Revolution, and they, therefore, are built around machines. Meaning most modern cities are designed for machines, cars, and industries, rather than for humans. The designers of the line hope to save humanity from the nightmare of commuting, associated with a lot of large modern cities. Is the line possible, and what are the constraints for making it a reality? Well, despite this being the largest megaproject in history, and no one has attempted anything remotely close, Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman seems to think it's possible. The Saudi Crown Prince has called the megaproject a revolution in technology, architecture, and civilization as a whole. But is that true? Humanity has built several supposedly impossible structures in some of the most treacherous terrains, like the pyramids, the Suez Canal, the Statue of Liberty, the Burj Khalifa, etc. But we have never accomplished something this massive, especially not in the time that Muhammad bin Salman claims. Simply put, they are trying to accomplish too much in too little time. One of the constraints to making the line project a reality is Saudi Arabia's past precedents in building massive infrastructure. Despite being home of the fourth tallest building in the world at over 600 meters, it has recently run into a snag with its Jeddah Tower project, which is supposed to replace the United Arab Emirates Burj Khalifa as the world's tallest building. The Jeddah Tower was meant to reach about a kilometer in height, but despite years of investment, the tower has yet to reach one-third completion, with many even believing that it might never be completed. Saudi Arabia's track record of human rights violations of its migrant workers also doesn't put it in the best light. Some migrant workers are paid paltry fees and made to live and work in unsavory conditions. These same migrant workers are going to be put to work in the thousands for Mohammed bin Salman's insane project, which he has sometimes referred to as his pyramids. The original natives of this region, about 20,000 people, have also been displaced from their homes by the Saudi government, and even some have been ended for simply protesting this. Another constraint the project is faced with is the issue of finance. When the project was first announced, it was estimated to cost $500 billion. But now, those estimates have risen to a whopping $1 trillion. This is money that Saudi Arabia is simply unable to raise itself, and will probably require the help of foreign investors to foot the bill, which might be their plan. The media publicity, investment, and technological growth that the country will receive as a result of this project cannot be overstated. All in all, the line is a beautiful dream, and like all dreams, it either becomes a reality or stays a dream. But even when it becomes a reality, it can still be a nightmare. The line is currently under construction, and recent Google satellite images show that the foundations are being set as you watch this video. It is expected to become a free market hub for global trade. Do you think this is going to be like all their other projects, abandoned before completion? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.